Hi and welcome to our Harvest Assembly. I'm really sorry that I can't be there in person with you, but I'm afraid it's a sign of the times at the moment. But hopefully together we will be able to stop and think about harvest. Harvest is a time in the, in the year when we do stop and think about where all our things that we have come from. And we give thanks to God for the bounty of the harvest. And we tend to then share some of what we have with those who have very little. So traditionally, churches would be full of fresh produce, things that have been grown in the gardens or on the allotment and brought to church, some of to decorate it and then to be given out to the poor within the area. Today is more likely that we collect dried and tin goods, which can be more easily passed on to people who are in need. And I know that you have been collecting in school for the food bank, and I'm guessing you have a massive amount of tinned and packets and, and lots of stuff that will be given to people within Milton Keynes who have very little. So we're sharing some of what we have with those who have very little. But today, as we think about harvest, I want us to think about the world we live in, particularly with in relation to COP26, which is coming up in a couple of weeks time. We have been given the earth and all its resources, and it is wonderful. Everything that we have comes from the earth, and we give thanks to God for that. But over the years, we have exploited creation for our own need. We've taken not just what we need, but we've taken what we want. So much, we've taken so much that there are things that are now extinct because of our greed. And it's really important that we stop doing this and actually become faithful stewards of the creation that God has given to us. And you may be thinking that this problem, this climate crisis is so much bigger than me. What difference can I make? Well, we only have to look at Greta Thunberg, a schoolgirl when she first started out, trying to raise, attention, um, raise the attention of climate change and raise awareness of all that was going on. And now she has the ear of political leaders. And we are all so much more aware of the crisis that is facing us. So if she can do something, so can you and I, however small it is, from recycling as much as we can, to only but getting what we need rather than more than we need and, and that desire and all everything that we desire. Think about where we're getting things from. Has it been sustainably sourced? Is it fairly traded? What goes into making the clothes that you wear? And sometimes, yes, some of those things will cost more money and that can be really challenging. But it may be that we just buy less of it. So we don't change, buy clothes just because we like the look of them. But actually we buy clothes when we need them. That sort of thing. We can all make a difference. We can all write to our MPs and make sure, members of parliament, and make sure that they are 
that the climate crisis is on the top of their agenda as they as we encourage government to make difficult decisions christians believe that god created human human beings to care for creation and so far we haven't done a great job at it but now is our opportunity to show that we care and if we do something then others will follow and it will make a difference but we need to be prepared to do something there's a wonderful indian proverb that says we haven't inherited the earth from our ancestors we've borrowed it from our children you are children today but as you grow up you will have children or may have children and they will enjoy the wonders of creation too so we've all inherited the earth from our ancestors well no we all have borrowed the earth from our children and so we need to care for the wonder of god's creation so this harvest time as we give thanks and as we share let us also commit ourselves to make a difference in the world by thinking about creation and how we look after it and care for it and tackling some of the issues of climate change i'm going to share with you a poem which was written by a member of the our, our local church someone called mike geeny and so i'm going to share my screen and let you listen to that and then i'm going to finish with a prayer The earth be yours, and everything in it. God created earth and heaven's wonder, according to his every thought and plan. The earth be yours, and everything that's in it. God left the earth to be maintained by man. God created animal and plant life, the forests and the rivers running by. God made sure of food and drink in plenty, and Eden, that we might live and never die. So man began by doing what was natural, tilling earth and planting fields of wheat. But greedy man kept making field from woodland, even when he had enough to eat. And so the earth was ravaged of her forests, wheat replacing trees and jungle homes, soil sucked dry of all its precious goodness, land reduced to sandy dust and bones. Man hunted beast to give him meat and clothing when the mammoth roamed across the plain, but once again he took more than he needed and now the hunter stalks his prey in vain. Worse was to come when man had all he wanted, beasts shot not for survival but for sport. Lion, tiger, elephant and rhino God's creation shot and killed for naught. In days of old, Earth's forests were a wonder. Her awesome trees stretched fingers up on high. Then man invented steel and brick and girders, his concrete towers all that pierced the sky. Man's chimneys tall spew forth his toxic madness and cloak blue sky with chemicals and smog. The waters choke and plastic bags and garbage, his cars an endless river wreathed in fog. But in amongst the chaos, still is beauty, the wilderness of nature hanging on. Earth's wonders have the power to enthrall us. The beasts and plant life aren't forever gone. So God created earth and heaven's wonder, 
according to his every thought and plan. The earth is ours and everything that's in it. Don't leave the earth to be destroyed by man. Loving God, this harvest time, we give you thanks. We thank you for the wonder and the beauty of your creation and for the abundance of the things that we can enjoy. Help us to share what we have with those who have little and help us to care for your creation, playing our part in the battle against climate change. Help us not to be afraid, but to have courage to stand up for the earth and its resources. Amen. Thank you for listening, watching, and I look forward to seeing you in person um, very soon. Take care. Bye.